So you may have just noticed that your iPhone is acting very, very slow and you're trying to find some ways to go ahead and make it you know, a little bit faster and fix a slow iPhone. Now, the very first thing I'd recommend doing, as I always recommend, is to make sure that you're rocking a kind of newer iPhone. You don't have to rock the latest iPhone, but if you're rocking like an iPhone 5 or 5S or iPhone 6 or whatever, those are older devices and no matter what you do, there's really no ways to go about it. It's always going to be a slow phone, but even an iPhone like an iPhone XR can start to feel slow every once in a while. The first thing I'd recommend doing though is if you're on the latest version of software is by going through and just updating your iPhone. So you can do this by going into your system settings just like this. You can scroll down into general which is right there and you can go and click on software update which is right up there. Now what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and update your iPhone for you. Now this is what I would probably recommend a majority of you to do at this point if you're already on iOS 16 or the latest version of software, see if there's an update available and that can help hopefully speed up the, some things in the background and that is something I would probably recommend doing. Now another big thing that has now been kind of a little bit more popular are the widgets. If you're you know, just having so many widgets on your main panel, on your side panel here, and on different pages, but now especially on iOS 16, if you have widgets on your home screen, that is another way that can suck up not only a little bit of power, but also a little bit of battery life. So what I would recommend doing is on the latest versions of software, kind of limiting the amount of different you know, widgets you're having on your main display as well as your home screens, because that can also go ahead and kind of exhibit a little bit of things in the background and just suck up a little bit of a performance gap right there. Now also, if you're having a lot of live activities on iOS 16, we now have live activities. I don't have any enabled here, but if those are constantly running in the background as well, that can suck up a little bit of power within your device there. And that's another thing I'd recommend, making sure you're not like, you know, ruining your iPhone by having so many different like widgets and things that are bogging down the performance of your phone. Now some other things is pretty much turning off low power mode. If you are on low power mode on your iPhone, that can also you know, kind of reduce the amount of performance that you're having on your device, as well as under this specific port, you know, this specific uh, option under battery health and cycling which, or charging, you wanna make sure your maximum capacity of your battery is at least over 80%. If it is under 80%, your performance can actually start to throttle, and Apple makes this clear to us so it's not a secret like they used to do anymore, but if you are having an iPhone that is pretty much you know, throttling in performance, you may just wanna make sure that your performance, like the maximum capacity is over 80%, because if it's under, that can start bogging down the performance there as well, and you may need to get your battery replaced there. So those are some quick ways to kind of fix a you know, slow iPhone. You can always try deleting applications, restarting your phone, different things like that, but that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.